And to our news hour share, something that caught our eye that may be of interest to you too. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the debut of a musical oddity, the great stalactite pipe organ of Virginia's Luray Caverns. News hour recently got a behind the scenes look at this one of a kind instrument from those who know it best. Cavern historian John Schaefer starts us off. Great Caverns is home to the largest musical instrument in the world, the great stalactite organ, and it plays the stalactites. The organ was created by Leland W. Sprinkle. Mr. Sprinkle toured the caverns in 1954 with his young son, and at that time, uh, the guides would tap stalactites to show that the different sizes gave off different tones. What he did was take rubber mallets and the concept of an organ and put it all together into an instrument. I'm Larry Moyer. I am operations manager for the Great Stalactite Pipe Organ. You're actually standing inside the organ as it plays because the stalactites cover over three and a half acres around us. Basically, we call it like a player type piano. So the sheet of plastic as your song and as the drum rotates, metal brushes fall into contact through holes in the plastic and sends the notes out. And on occasion, we will have an organist present. A pipe organ produces its sounds by forcing air through columns. What we're doing here is we're actually playing a 37-note percussion instrument. My name is Otto Pebworth. I play the organ here at Luray Caverns. And I've been playing pipe organs now for probably close to 30 years. It's very settling, very soothing. I just have a chance just to stop and let everything go quiet and make music. And that's what makes it the nicest thing. A room like this lends itself more toward the more peaceful things like Moonlight Sonata, or some of the Bach preludes. The Stalag Pipe Organ is a totally unique instrument unto itself. And because of that, you can just hear something that is totally natural and totally special. It can't be duplicated. <laughs> 